Okay, hello. Um, I'm at Central Park at the Barn Park entrance. Uh, it's Darren here. And I just had a conversation with Andrew, who's chairman of the uh, Friends of Central Park group, which has now been disbanded. We'll talk about that in a sec. Now these blue lines here at the entrance to Barn Park are where Plymouth City Council are looking to start doing their building work at some point towards the end of summer. And where I'm walking right now, say hello to the birds, Okay, and to the left, there is a small pond. And the area that I'm walking along now is gonna be dug out and turned into a very large sausage shape, sausage shaped pond, which will, which starts at the blue lines and ends where that tree is. All here, where they, we can see there's the bank. This is a natural bank. This entire area is going to be excavated, excavated and dug back. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of building work here. Um, uh, like I just said, I think it's going to start in September, which is probably great because there'll be nobody around to witness the mess they're going to make because we'll probably be all locked down again. <laughs> okay, in here, they're, they're going to clean all this up, clear it all out. They're going to fell some of the trees. I think there's some... Uh, uh, some oak trees in here that live for you know hundreds and hundreds of years they're going to be kept uh, and this whole pond is going to be cleaned up okay now if i just go back to where we started quickly I'm in a bit of a rush okay so it's sort of in the horizon between these two trees you can see the you can see the the horizon the bank line um, that's already a problem in terms of aesthetics, according to the Friends of Central Park group. They would like it lowered. Perth City Council's redevelopment proposals are, will have that raised about a metre, two feet. So this really obscures the view. Um, Andrew has ta talked about how um, safety concerns for if there's antisocial behaviour up there, it's harder to spot. Um, and so they're going to raise that bank higher. And as we walk down towards the barn park, entrance we can see it's right in the middle of my camera there is some what are they weeping willows there's some other trees in there all these trees here are going to be cut down and in there they're going to dig back that bank raise it up and they are going to put in another pond so there will be three ponds one here this one's going to be cleaned up and then it's going to be a large sausage shaped pond that goes across in the background. Now the purpose of raising that bank is to try and reduce the flooding that's caused here every winter. And in particular, the 100 year rain, you know, ex massive rainfall that is supposed to happen. Um, so they will raise that bank so that the football fields up there take a lot of the water and reduce the amount that comes down here. Now, the whole design of this area that Labour are planning to, to start, start doing in September is purely got the drainage issue in mind and nothing else. It's not considered any of the other proposals. Now, since 1931, this entire area has been marked for a lake. And that proposal has been laid down and if Plymouth City Council will go ahead with their plans, that can never happen because of the way these ponds have been arranged. And if I go up here, because there will be some sort of discharge outlet, just can't get too many people on camera, there's a planned discharge outlet just up here, which will prevent any further work in terms of extending these ponds and making them join up to a, a larger water feature. Now, this path that I'm walking on is the Jubilee path. Uh, this path and the Barn Park path have also all got to be raised about one metre. So this means that they will have to dig up all the foundations, which is a hell of a job. Think how big these path, uh, these path networks are. Uh, and, and then relay the foundations and relay the path. Now, if any future work happens here again, then they, i.e. extending these ponds into a lake, then these paths will um, have to be dug up again. But not only that, not only are they going to dig them all up, but they're not actually going to rearrange these network of paths, which is really messy, 
Uh, it's not, you know, Andrew calls it confusing. I think by that he means it's messy. It's not confusing, you know, unless you really don't know your left or right. But um, this could all be cleaned up. It could be made so much neater. And this has not been taken into account uh, in the proposals. And then finally, if you want to know about some money, there were um, a good few million put away for this redevelopment plan. Some of it has been spent in terms of getting their proposals together, etc., and awarding contracts. But uh, there is £1.4 million pounds that cannot be accounted for. And this information has been requested and has still not been provided uh, through to the Friends of Central Park group, which on speaking to Andrew he no longer wants to be chairman he believes that the group has been used as a political football and as purely as optics so that the council can say that they've engaged with the public when actually all the concerns to the council's solution uh, have been received but never addressed or responded to in an appropriate way this means that the friends of uh, central park group has now been disbanded and um, just speaking to Andrew, it looks like the general feeling of that group, uh, you know, the, 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 the board there, um, are so unhappy of how they've been treated by the council that they don't want to re-establish it. So uh, I am standing as, your, as an independent uh, candidate for Pevel Councillor. And one of the things that I promise that I will do is try to either re get, get, deal with these people and get this group re-established or start a new Friends of Central Park group. And I will ensure that the concerns of the people who use this park and the people in Peveril, that their voices are heard. Okay? So uh, if anyone's got any questions on what I just said, they've heard different stories, my facts aren't correct, please uh, email me at votefordarren2021 at gmail.com. You can find me on Twitter uh, at Darren Plymouth. Um, or just reply to, you know, wherever you may see this message and I'll take your concerns on board. I'm not a drainage expert or a landscape guy, so um, I'm just relaying the information to the best of my knowledge from, uh, from Andrew of the Friends of Central Park Group. Thank you. Goodbye.